We need to find the others. We can't go outside. Clementine. Sarah. You were with Nick, right? We gotta go find him. A man was here. What? What did she say? Someone came to the cabin. What? Clementine talked to him. And you just opened the door for him? Calm down, Rebecca. Calm down? I am calm. You calm down. We don't know anything yet. I didn't open the door. He just came in. She's telling the truth. Did he say his name? Did he say what his name was? Maybe it wasn't him. You know damn well who it was. Did he say his name? He said his name was George. George? That's what he said. Look, Clem, just tell us what he looked like. What was he wearing? Did he sound different? How old was he? He had a big brown coat. Did it have a lining? A collar? Yeah, fur. He talked about you, Dad. You're not gonna hurt anyone, are you? Of course he won't, Sarah. All right, your dad's the nicest man I know, which is why he's not gonna do anything crazy or not nice, right? You know these are bad people, sweetie. They will do or say anything to hurt us. Now, what do you think? Did it seem like he'd be coming back? He saw a picture of me. A picture? What were you doing taking pictures? Carlos. What? You need to calm down. All right, you're scaring your daughter. I took the picture. It's my fault. No, she didn't. I took it myself. Sarah. He was scouting. We got lucky. He wasn't expecting to find us. Clementine must have surprised him. She hadn't been there. Well, he was too smart to stick around, but he'll be back with the rest. We don't have much time. He's right. Everyone pack up. We're moving now. Alvin, wait! We have to leave now, sweetie, before he comes back with more bad guys. But it's gonna be okay. Let's just go get your things. What does he want? To bring us back. Clem, I don't know what he told you, but William Carver is a dangerous man. He's the leader of a camp not far from here, and he's very smart. We were lucky to escape. Look, I'm sorry to involve you, but now that he's seen you, you'll be safer with us. We have to leave. Look, we gotta find Nick on our way out of here. You know where he was, right? Yeah. All right. Everybody grab your stuff. Let's hit the road. Now, you said it was just up here? Yeah, just a little ways. Hey, Clem. Sorry if I gave you some shit back there. I'm just a little on edge. It's just a tough time right now, with the pregnancy and all. You and Alvin can probably relate. Why is Carver after you? After me? Oh, you mean us. It's a long story. He... He has a hard time letting go. I know you did your best back there. You know, none of us would make it on our own. Sometimes it's hard knowing just how dependent I am on everyone. I'm not used to that. I'm not comfortable with that. I'm supposed to be a mom soon. Guess I need to work on my patience. Alvin and I still don't know what to call her. Or him if that man gets his wish. God help me. Any ideas? Clem? There. That's where we were. Nick! Get the door. Jesus. 
Hey, man. You got any aspirin? Nick, you asshole. Pete's dead. I know, man, I do. We gotta get moving. Okay, Carver's gang showed up. Can you make it? Yeah. Yeah. Good, let's go. Hey, Clem. Uh, I just wanted to say thanks for not giving up on me. I'm sorry about Pete. Yeah. Thanks. What happened back there in that cellar? Did he do something stupid? Like he can tell me. I'm just looking out for him. He got drunk. I was scared. God damn it, Nick. I'm worried about that kid. Keep an eye on him for me, would you? You sure you still want to come with us? Look, I know we got off to a rough start, and I can't make any promises it won't get rougher, but we all know you now. We may not be perfect, but we look out for each other. I have to look for Krista. She was headed north, right? Yeah. So are we. Look, you're gonna have a better chance of finding her with us than on your own. I figure we got about four or five days to reach those mountains. Now, if they're tracking us, we should be able to lose them up there. Five days? It's gonna be okay, Beck. We have to keep moving now. It's our only choice. See anything? She better see something. We've been walking for a damn week. We've got to find some shelter. There's a lift or something. Chairlift? Must be that ski resort. I've never been skiing. Beck and I went once. It wasn't pretty. Here, eat this, Beck. There's a building on the mountain. What's it look like? It's big. That sounds like a good place to spend the night. There's a little house by the bridge. How big is it? It's pretty small. There's the bridge. And does it look passable? I think so. Good. We have to cross that bridge. Let's go. Hold on now. We can't all go sprinting across that thing, okay? We get spotted out there, we're gonna be trapped. Going around that lake will take too long. Right, but look, we've got no idea who's out there. Okay, I'm gonna sneak across, make sure it's clear before we bring the whole group over. You think splitting up the group is a good idea? Well, I never said it was a good idea, but it's better than risking everyone at once. What's your plan? Clem and I can scoot across low and slow, make sure nobody's waiting for us on the other side. We'll have a tough time covering you from back here. Well, we'll just turn back if it gets hairy. Clementine should stay here. She's... She's what? She's just a little girl, Luke. She's a valuable little girl. I mean, hell, if she can sew up her own arm, she's fit to cross a bridge. He's got a point. I can do it. See? No problem. It's gonna be fine. Okay, we'll signal you guys in ten minutes. Just watch for a light at the far side. I can go too. You stay with the group. I'm fine, Luke. I don't like this. Yeah, well, when's the last time you liked anything, Carlos? If something happens, I'll cover you. Come on. Hey, uh, sorry about that. I just... I could really use your eyes, and right now I don't trust Nick to tie his own shoes. You're just still on edge after the Carver thing. 
It's been five days. Why would Carver still be following us? What's the most important thing in this world? What does everyone want? Even the gangs. You know, what do you think they're all after? Food. Nope. Listen, what's the one thing a guy would walk hundreds of miles to get back? Something you can't just find. Family. It's a tough world out there without people you can trust. Anyways, you, you can ask Rebecca, okay? I'm, I'm not going to get in the middle of it. We've all made mistakes. Done things that we regret. It's not my place to talk about someone else's past, you know? Seems like we're already in the middle of it. Tell me about it. Hmm. Can't shoot them. Too much noise. There are only two. Let's take them. I like your style. I'll take the big one. You get shorty. Wish we could use guns. We should be okay. I think. Got it. I'll take the small one. Good. Let's do it. Pull. It should come free. I know. I've done this before, remember? In a shed. Nice work, kid. <clears throat> Ow.
Thanks, Clem. Let's keep going. You see him? Yeah. Just play it cool. And you do the talking. What? Why me? I don't want to get in a fight. You really think he chewed a little girl? Just don't make any sudden moves. And don't piss him off. And don't tell him anything. You know, on second thought, maybe I should do the talking. Is he with Carver? It's hard to see. I don't think so. Well, who are you? Well, who's asking? I am. Wanna help me out here? What do you want? Saw you coming, and I thought I'd meet you halfway. Huh. You don't look like assholes. Are you assholes? No offense or anything, but you know how it is out here. You run into a lot of assholes. I'm not an asshole. Are you calling me an asshole? <laughs> you folks headed north like everyone else? Everyone else? I see at least one group a day move through here. You all look the same. It's like a great migration of the dazed and confused. Have you seen someone named Krista? Krista? Maybe. Really? No, I mean, a lot of people come through here. I don't know. I gotta say, you two look like shit. If you need food, I've got some canned stuff in that station back there. Well, that's, uh, awful nice of you. What's the catch? No catch. I've got plenty. Well, all right then. Thank you. Hey, no problem. Nice running into friendly faces out here. Like I said, I've got food and supplies back in the station. And if you want... What the fuck, man? What the hell is he doing? No, 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 he's, he's with us. Nick! No! Put it down! Don't shoot! <laughs> Did I hit him? Where is he? I told you not to shoot. What? Who was that guy? Why didn't you wait for a signal? We thought you were in trouble. You were waving your arms. He was going to help us. How do you know? Damn it, Nick. I told you not to shoot. How was I supposed to hear you? You gave me a clear shot. That shot rang out for miles. We gotta get off this bridge. Let's go. fuck was that back there? I don't know. Looked like he had a gun on you. That asshole drew on me. He was about to shoot. Oh, was he? I'm telling you, man, he drew first. Well, that's not what it looked like to me. Shut up, Nick. What did you see, Clem? Was that guy gonna shoot? Fuck you, Luke. You've been on my case the whole week. And why do you think that is, Nick? Because you're an asshole? He wasn't gonna do anything. I know what I saw. Either way, you could have hit one of us. Yeah, but I didn't. Look, I, I know Pete was close to you, Nick, but you can't- Don't fucking talk about him. You think he was with Carver? I don't know. I... No, I don't think so. But he fell over. He fell off the damn bridge? We have to keep moving. I can't. I need a minute. Fine. Luke, can I talk to you alone? Hey, Clem, you got anything to eat? Beck's dying here. Alvin, I told you I'm fine. Sorry, I'm out. Wish we still had those juice boxes. Yeah, me too. That 
Man said he had food in the station. Mind checking it out? Maybe we could spend the night here. A little small for us, though. You could use a little downsizing. Sure. Thanks, Clem. Rebecca, are you okay? I'm all right. I just need a little rest. And some food. Alvin. Hey, Clem, you check out that station yet? Not yet. 